let z be 1 plus cosine of 2 theta plus i times sine of 2 theta, where i theta is greater than negative pi over 2 and less than pi over 2. Question A shows that argument of z is equal to theta. So, we know that in general any complex number can be represented as x plus i y, and uh, so we can see that 1 plus cosine of 2 theta is like x, it's the real part, and sine of 2 theta is the imaginary part. Don't get confused, uh, theta is not the argument of uh, this complex number, it's, it's just some unknown parameter which changes from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And definitely uh, we can find uh, uh, the argument from the organ diagram, from the graph. But if uh, it is given in uh, just numbers, it uh, can be done very easily. But since uh, there is some unknown parameter, we can use a general formula for the argument. This formula is not given, but it's useful to remember and to know it. And the uh, formula is that argument over any complex number is, is equal to just arctangent of y over x, and in general you may do any number of full revolutions uh, um, and it will be absolutely the same angle so same coordinates so it will be absolutely uh, the same so in general we can write uh, plus 2 pi k but when complex number is in the first or in the fourth uh, quadrant and pi or 180 if uh, it's uh, in, in degrees plus octangent y over x and uh, in, ge in general you may add or subtract any number of 2 pi for the second and the third quadrants and octangent or negative uh, value is negative octangent of uh, the positive corresponding positive value it's called the odd function and x y here are uh, these values so we should understand in what quadrant our complex number is. So since theta is uh, from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, cosine of 2 theta, it's, uh, or 2 theta, changes from what negative pi and pi. And uh, using the unit circle, what is cosine? Cosine is x coordinate negative pi. Z uh, and uh, in general, 0 for angles is here. Or, uh, including uh, arguments, zero is here. In anti-clockwise there are positive angles, in clockwise there are negative angles. And negative pi is here in clockwise direction, so it's negative pi. And it's zero and pi. And uh, actually it's full revolution. And, uh, and uh, what? Cosine changes from negative 1 to 1 and points uh, are not including, included but since there is additionally plus 1 plus 1 you can see changes from 0 to 2 so it's positive and since it's positive it doesn't matter in what quadra uh, quadrant imaginary part is uh, because there is the same formula for the first and the fourth quadrants. Since the real part x is positive, complex number can be here, so it's the first quadrant, if uh, this is pos also positive, or it can be here. And for example, uh, for example, the complex number is 2 uh, minus 2i it looks like this 2 and negative 2 and this formula gives us octan of what negative 2 over 2 which is octangent of negative 1 but octangent of negative 1 is negative octangent 1 and octangent 1 is 45 in degrees of pi over 4 and we get negative pi over 4 and it's uh, this angle you can see that it's uh, 45 because it's uh, the isosceles triangle but since 0 for angles is here, but since it's in clockwise, it's negative. 
if you need it to be positive in general it, it can be given as negative it doesn't matter it's correct but if you need positive or if you want this angle to be positive you you can just add 2 pi and 2 pi it becomes this point but in anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction so so our argument becomes what we can write that it's just arctangent or y of x y of x or sine of 2 theta divided by 1 plus cosine of 2 theta sine of 2 theta 1 plus cosine of 2 theta and the answer is actually given we should get theta but how can we get theta from this octangent of something to be to be equal to theta when it can it will be equal to theta when uh, it will be octangent of just tangent so you can deduce that you should show that it is equal to tangent you should simplify it and get that that it is equal to theta and and it may be required or it will be useful to emphasize that since since one plus cosine of two theta is greater than zero uh, then argument is uh, can be represented like this to emphasize uh, because uh, because it in general it may be the second or the third so uh, it will be pi plus arctangent it will be better to emphasize or you uh, or you may write that uh, since then uh, that is in the fourth uh, in the first or in the uh, fourth uh, uh, quadrant so argument can be given like this or oh, maybe not necessary to write this okay so let's continue so we can see that there are or oh, there is two, ang two theta as angle and two theta it's what it's double angle and we know formulas for double angle and we can use them so sine of two theta is what two sine cosine of just theta and 1 plus cosine of 2 theta uh, formula is also given in a data booklet and for example we can use this cosine of 2 theta is 2 cosine squared minus 1 1 cancels and we get that it's just 2 cosine squared of theta which is equal to arctan of sine over cosine which is what tangent and we get arctan of tan of theta which is just theta as required and the next question it's what it's modulus modulus of the complex number is equal to what it's square root of x squared plus y squared it's, it's just this distance from the origin and it becomes square root of what 1 plus cosine of 2 theta squared plus sine squared of 2 theta and we need to simplify it to get to times cosine and it becomes root 1 plus 2 cosine of 2 theta plus cosine squared plus sine squared which is what 1 and 1 plus 1 it becomes 2 so it's root 2 plus 2 cosine of 2 theta and using again double angle formula what formula cosine of 2 theta is 2 
cosine squared minus 1 it becomes 2 plus uh, 2 times to 4 cosine squared theta and minus 2 and it becomes root 4 times cosine of theta and it is equal to root of 4 is 2 but notice that in general you cannot write that it just cosine theta is not correct why because in general a root of a squared it is the absolute value of a because a may be negative it may be uh, like this negative 5 squared and square root and you can see it becomes square root of 25 and it's 5 but if you remove this you can see that it becomes negative 5 which is not true so in general we should write that it's uh, the absolute value of cosine theta and and theta since theta is greater than negative pi over 2 and less than pi over 2 yes again uh, using uh, unit circle negative pi over 2 it's what uh, or uh, where is it it's here it's in clockwise negative uh, or oh, 90 degrees but in clockwise and from this to this and you can see that cosine is what x coordinate so cosine is positive so and cosine theta is positive and that's why we can remove these bars and rewrite as just 2 times cosine of theta and b hence otherwise find the value of theta such that argument of z squared is equal to uh, z cubed and uh, modulus modulus of z cubed so about uh, argument of uh, some complex number which is raised to some power uh, for in general you remember uh, that uh, any complex number can be represented in modulus argument form or actually it's called uh, the Ehlers or exponential uh, form and it looks like what uh, modulus and e to the power of i uh, uh, theta it's another theta it's in general or let it be alpha it doesn't matter and if you raise to some power for example squared squared and also squared and it becomes what e to the power of i two two times alpha and you can see that if you raise to some power argument just increases by n times if it's that to the power one so argument argument of that squared it will be what just two times larger so we can see the next we can see the next that argument of that squared is equal to two arguments of z and argument of z is theta so two times theta and and modulus of z cubed and z and modulus of z and uh, and then cubed is the difference or not definitely there is no difference because using the same uh, z is uh, modulus e to the power i alpha and modulus is what is just r or that cubed it becomes like this so modulus of z cubed is just r cubed and if we do or if we consider modulus firstly modulus of z it was just r and then cubed 
you can see that we get the same so it's the same so so that cubed and uh, then modulus is the same as modulus of that cubed and modulus of that it's two cosine so it's two cosine of theta cubed and hence we should uh, solve this equation what equation argument of that squared which is two theta is equal to what two which is uh, two times cosine cubed and we should use the calculate uh, you may consider two graphs but uh, I uh, I move everything to the left and consider only one graph and if you consider two graphs you need what point of intersection of two graphs but if I consider like this I need what just x intercept or zero and uh, you can see that we can simplify so it's two uh, minus what eight cosine cubed of theta which is zero and it becomes just theta minus four cosine cubed of theta to be e and is equal to zero so using the calculator y is 2 minus oh no not 2 x x because theta so it becomes x minus 4 cosine of x and cubed and notice that there must be radians because it is given that theta is in radians not degrees then window window uh, theta is given from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 uh, so I write just negative uh, 1.57 uh, 1 to 1.57 and y for example from negative 10 to 10 pi is 3.14 so pi over 2 is 1.57 you may write pi over 2 it doesn't matter and then graph and you can see that it looks like this and we need what this point and this point is what is zero of a function or x intercept and you can see it's required what left bound right bound and guess and x is 0 0.913 uh, three to three significant figures and it's the required answer it's the solution of this equation and that's all for this question